Welcome back to the Health Benefits Hub channel. Diabetic Kidney Disease, a stealthy thief understanding the stages. Did you know Diabetic Kidney Disease DKD is the most common thief of kidney function in the US, especially for those with type 2 diabetes? This silent thief progresses through distinct stages, and understanding them is crucial for early detection and intervention. Stage 1. Microalbuminuria, the sneaky culprit. Imagine your kidneys as a high-tech colander, filtering your blood, and letting waste products flow out in the urine. Healthy kidneys keep valuable proteins like albumin inside. But in microalbuminuria, the first stage of DKD, tiny leaks develop in the colander, allowing small amounts of albumin to slip through. Think of it like this, you're washing blueberries in a strainer. The blueberries stay put protein, and the water flows through waste. But if you start seeing a few blueberries in the sink albumin and urine, it means the strainer has tiny holes. While the blueberries themselves aren't bad, those holes are a sign of trouble. Stage 2 Macroalbuminuria or Frank Proteinuria, the leak gets bigger. As DKD progresses, the leaks in the colander widen, allowing more and more albumin to escape. This stage, called Macroalbuminuria or Frank Proteinuria, is like seeing a handful of blueberries in the sink, the leaks are significant. These increased protein levels can be detected with a simple urine dipstick test. Don't panic, but take action. Early detection and management are key to slowing DKD's progression. In the following videos, we'll delve into the later stages of DKD and explore strategies to protect your kidneys and keep them filtering like champions. Diabetic Kidney Disease, From Leaky Colanders to Reversal Hope the blood tells the tale. As microalbuminuria progresses, a blood test called creatinine starts to rise. Think of creatinine as a waste product that healthy kidneys easily filter out. But with leaky colander's kidneys, creatinine levels rise in the blood, indicating declining kidney function. The higher the creatinine, the worse the DKD stage. A slow thief, but not invincible. The good news. This process from diabetes to dialysis often takes years, typically around 5 years per stage. That means there's plenty of time to intervene, weaponizing your arsenal, while there are limited drug options, to keep players stand out ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers ARBs, both high blood pressure medications. They help protect your kidneys by regulating blood pressure and reducing strain. Another weapon is SGLT2 inhibitors, medications that help your body remove excess sugar through urine, reducing stress on your kidneys. Diet, I've been sung hero. Diet has always been a cornerstone of managing diabetes and DKD. The logic is simple, control your diabetes, control the damage to your kidneys. But exciting new research suggests even more potential. A reversal spark. A groundbreaking 2020 to study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism explored the concept of reversing DKD. The study, titled Six-Month Periodic Fasting in Patients with Type 2 Diabetes and Diabetic Nephropathy, a proof-of-concept study, investigated a special five-day fasting mimicking diet FMD the concept we described toward the end of this video. This FMD provides a specially formulated low-calorie diet that mimics the benefits of fasting without complete food deprivation. The results were promising, suggesting potential for DKD reversal. Remember, this research is in its early stages, but it ignites a beacon of hope. By combining dietary therapy, medication, and potentially FMD with medical supervision, we may be on the cusp of not just managing DKD, but potentially reversing it. Stay tuned for future videos as we delve deeper into these exciting advancements. Oh, a quick favor, we greatly appreciate it. If you can subscribe and like this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content, share it more widely. Fasting Mimicking Diet A kidney superhero in disguise. Remember that mind-blowing study suggesting we could potentially fight back against early diabetic kidney disease DKD. It all revolves around a unique dietary approach called the Fasting Mimicking Diet FMD. And here's why it has researchers buzzing. A beacon of hope for early DKD. Imagine a study at the University of Heidelberg in Germany offering a glimmer of hope. This study focused on people with type 2 diabetes and the sneaky beginnings of DKD microalbuminuria. For the first time, researchers observed signs that the FMD might actually reverse some of this early damage. Fueling the fight. DFMD works its magic by potentially shifting the body's fuel preference. 
Normally, our bodies love readily available glucose sugar for energy. But in diabetes, high blood sugar levels wreak havoc on the kidneys. The FMD aims to switch gears, encouraging the body to burn fat for fuel. This metabolic shift might be the key to protecting the kidneys from further damage. The FMD battle plan 40 brave adults with type 2 diabetes and protein in their urine became warriors in this dietary fight. Researchers closely monitored various health markers to see which approach emerged victorious. Impressive victories on multiple fronts. The FMD group saw remarkable improvements, blood sugar blitz, hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, a key diabetes marker, took a significant plunge, rivaling the effectiveness of top medications. The Mediterranean diet group saw minimal change. Fat-burning bonanza, the FMD group shed an average of over 20 pounds, compared to no weight loss in the Mediterranean group. This weight loss is crucial for overall health and potentially helps reduce strain on the kidneys. Insulin sensitivity surge, markers of insulin resistance, a major player in diabetes, plummeted in the FMD group. This translates to better blood sugar control and potentially less stress on the kidneys. Kidney function fortification. While the Mediterranean group showed a slight decline in kidney function, the FMD group held their ground, maintaining stable function. This is a major win in the battle against DKD. A call for continued research. This study is a game changer, but it's just the first chapter in the FMD story. Larger studies are needed to confirm these findings and explore the FMD's effectiveness in later DKD stages. The takeaway, the FMD shows immense promise for managing and potentially reversing early DKD. However, it's crucial to consult your doctor before attempting any FMD regimen, as medical supervision is essential. Stay tuned. As research on the FMD progresses, we'll keep you updated on its potential impact on DKD and overall health. Remember, with knowledge and proactive strategies, we can empower ourselves to fight back against DKD. Early DKD reversal, a glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel. While the overall protein reduction in urine wasn't statistically significant across the entire FMD group, here's the exciting part. The subgroup with microalbuminuria, the earliest stage of DKD saw a whopping 40% drop in protein levels. This exciting finding hints at the FMD's potential to reverse early DKD damage, potentially rewiring your kidneys for better health. Imagine patching those tiny leaks in your colander from the previous analogy. That's the potential power of the FMD. Safety first, peace of mind while fasting. The best part. The FMD was well tolerated with minimal side effects. This suggests the FMD could be a safe and effective tool for managing DKD, alongside proper medical supervision of course. The road ahead. Refining our weapon. This study is a shining light, but it's just the beginning of the FMD journey. Larger, long-term studies are needed to solidify these findings and explore the FMD's effectiveness in later DKD stages. Think of it as gathering more data to perfect our weapon against DKD. The takeaway, knowledge is power. The FMD shows immense promise for managing and potentially reversing early DKD. However, remember, consulting with your doctor before attempting any FMD regimen is crucial. Knowledge is power, and working with your healthcare team ensures you wield the FMD safely and effectively. Just what is a fasting mimicking diet FMD? Imagine a way to experience the benefits of fasting without completely giving up food. That's the promise of the fasting mimicking diet FMD, a unique dietary approach gaining traction for its potential health benefits. The premise, and like traditional fasting, the FMD provides a specially formulated low-calorie, plant-based diet for five days each month. This diet aims to mimic the cellular changes that occur during a water fast, potentially triggering a cellular power cycle. The potential benefits, metabolic shift, the FMD may encourage the body to switch from burning sugar glucose to fat for fuel. This shift could be beneficial for conditions like diabetes and obesity. Cellular rejuvenation, early research suggests the FMD might promote cellular repair and recycling mechanisms, potentially offering benefits for aging and age-related diseases. Improved insulin sensitivity, studies indicate the FMD could improve insulin sensitivity, aiding blood sugar control in diabetic individuals. Early DKD reversal promising research suggests the FMD might help reverse early stages of diabetic kidney disease DKD.
Important considerations, limited research, while initial findings are encouraging, more research is needed to confirm the FMD's long-term effects and effectiveness for various conditions. Medical supervision. The FMD is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Consulting a doctor before attempting the FMD is crucial, especially for those with underlying health conditions. Not a magic bullet. The FMD should be seen as a potential tool to support overall health goals, alongside a healthy diet and lifestyle modifications. The future of FMD research on the FMD is ongoing, with scientists exploring its potential impact on various health conditions. As research progresses, the FMD may become a more recognized tool in promoting cellular health and overall well-being. Remember, always consult your doctor before starting any new dietary program, including the FMD. Stay tuned. As FMD research progresses, we'll keep you updated on its potential impact on DKD and overall health. Remember, with ongoing research and proactive strategies, we can rewrite the story of DKD and empower ourselves to live healthier lives. Please feel free to share your insights in the comments below, so we can learn from each other along our journey for a healthy life. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.